That's the main entrance, though, isn't it? That's the main public entry. Public so the street out here um, is where the buses drop off. Yep. And there's drop off parking there. It just walks through the underground car yeah. park, so you come up and lift the car park. Yep. And we would expect about 300,000 patients a year to walk through that building. There's a drop off point right over here, you said. Yeah, so this, you've got uh, Barry Marshall Parade, goes along there for the railway station, and the buses drop off there. So. Yeah. It's the first cancer centre south of the river. Four chamber unit in here. You know okay. Yeah, you actually spoke to plus, plus diving and compression with the lens. Plus two monitors. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this hospital is it's mostly, if not totally, single bed ward. Yeah, Eighty three percent single. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a significant wow. significant change to the hospital. Yeah. And the total number of beds? Uh, Seven hundred and eighty three. Mm -hmm. And this is just a typical layout, so you can see how the ensuite works, you can see every uh, overnight room mm -hmm. has a view, oh, so okay. external window facing okay. out, yeah, and that will look down onto uh, external gardens there, so mm -hmm. the rooftop there will actually be planted. Mm -hmm. yeah. so one of the, the major changes was the move to single bed wards, and it led to a large increase in cost, but they did it for a number of reasons. One is uh, uh, infection control, yeah. and of course, uh, uh, particularly because uh, it's an A-class hospital, a lot of uh, uh, privacy. Uh, and uh, this is one of the few hospitals in Australia, I think, that has this percent percentage of single bed wards. So it's, it's going to be a significant increase in the, uh, the quality of uh, provision in the hospital. Significant. The whole, the whole precinct is about $2 billion, so there's $1.76 billion of state government money and $255 million of Commonwealth money, which was to build the state rehab service. Yeah. So just, just over $2 billion. No, no, but there are a large number of people who will see this as their home base and move to the area. Yeah, absolutely. The wider area, so it's going to be a similar so what centres are here? We have oncology, we have the main hospital, yeah. we have rehab, uh, the mental unit, yeah. okay, admin of course, what else? Um, well, we've got trauma, trauma. Yeah. Okay. Um, we've got burns, um, we've got all the major surgical specialties yeah. and medical specialties. Mm -hmm. um, the way it's designed, it is separated behind, we can actually bring it together behind as well. So and that's a helipad there? No, 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 the helipad is up the top. We can just walk out here and see that. But So this is the public entry. We can do so many things here, potentially do quite a bit of things here which we're not currently doing. So, for example, if you're in a major accident in Kununurra, yeah. uh, country hospitals now are generally well equipped with CT scanners and the like. So with the technology we have here, they can, before they transfer them down, the jet would probably go to Kununurra because it's long yes. distance. You can land on the Yeah, we can... Um, Put the, do the imaging on the patient, mm -hmm. put the patient on the plane while they're flying down the surgeon so he can do the workup. Yeah. So when they get here, they're ready to do the surgery. Yeah. Whereas at the moment, they fly down, get here, then they image them. Yeah. And they'll cert certify this for all of the choppers that will use it. Police, uh, yeah. the uh, RAC rescue chopper, we have the land here. All of those yeah, What's the industrial relations record on site been? Oh, it's, it's been very good. It's yeah. very good? Yeah. Yeah. No major issues? Or no uh, work stoppages at all that I'm aware of. I certainly none that have affected the program. Excellent. Yeah. Anybody driving down Quanana Freeway or South Street will see the massive cranes and buildings rising in the Fiona Sani complex. And it's an impressive building. It will be the largest hospital complex in Western Australia. And actually, it's the largest building uh, venture ever undertaken in the state. Importantly, it's not just one building, it's not just the hospital, it's the pathology center, the oncology center, the rehab center, uh, mental health center. It will provide an integrated health campus to the electorate of Riverton. But it is on time, on budget, with expected to open sometime in mid-2014. Uh, a good project.